Okay guys, in our last chapter, we have discussed uh, some aspects regarding governor. Okay, again I am <coughs> going to discuss some important points regarding governor. Mind that governor generally holds office for 5 years during the uh, <coughs> subject to the pleasure of the president. Okay, president can remove governor uh, at any time. Okay, it is the first aspect. Okay. Uh, governor actually observes his office for five years, subjected to the pleasure of the president. Okay. Then another thing is that generally, though his term is five years, he can um, uh, he can observe, he can hold office beyond the five years. In case of president, we saw that though the term of president for office is five years, but president can um, hold office beyond the five years. Okay, because they are the executive head. Okay, of center and state. President is the executive head of center and governor of state. That is why uh, it was provided in the constitution. Okay, they can hold office beyond the term of five years due to uh, delay of election until the next election, uh, until the next head throughout the election is elected. Okay, mind this thing. Both governor and president hold office beyond the term of five years. Okay. Then another thing is that uh, in case of president, if president resign, um, to whom he actually uh, submits the re resignation letter. It was vice president. Okay. But in case of governor, in case of governor, uh, to whom he will give the uh, resignation letter. Okay. In case of, uh, in case of, in case of govern, in case of president, if he uh, resigned from his office, then he submits the resignation letter to whom? To vice president. Okay, but in case of governor, to whom governor will submit the resignation letter? There is no vice governor post in the state machinery, and the governor holds office during the pleasure of the president. Governor is appointed by the president, and governor is removed by the president. That is why, if governor wants to resign from his post, then he will give the resignation letter to the president. Mind this thing. Okay. Then another thing is that. Uh, in case of president, compare and contrast the uh, compare the um, removal process of president and governor. First thing is that there it is not a removal for president; it is impeachment. Okay, but there is no impeachment process for uh, for removal of governor. Even mind that. Okay, there is an option. You will find an option in exam. Governor can be removed from the office on the ground as laid down in constitution. Governor can be removed from the office as on the ground as defined in the constitution. Mind that there is no grounds, there is no reasons which are laid down in the constitution for the removal of the governor. In case of president, it is mentioned in the constitution that president can be removed on the grounds of impeachment for violation of the constitution okay but in case of president also it only it was mentioned that it, it he will be impeached or on the violation of the uh, constitution but no now we are defined what is violation of the constitution what is impeachment in president also okay but in case of governor nothing is mentioned in case of governor nothing is mentioned okay not any term is also mentioned like president uh, to on which he will be um, removed okay there is no condition laid down in the constitution for the removal of the governor okay mind this thing uh, again one thing is that if you you are a president okay uh, your term has been ended then you can be reappointed to the same state or to any other state okay mind this thing okay uh, and in case of what happened uh, if president die in the death of a sitting governor okay if president dies then who will come to uh, occupy that office temporarily okay it is the chief justice of the concerned high court who will be appointed to discharge the functions of the governor uh, temporarily okay in case of president due to uh, um, due to the death of the president okay in case of any due to death of the president okay mind that vacant and absent both are different i already told you i am not going to repeat those things vacant and absent okay in case of death of the president in case of the absence both are different okay then here also in case of death of the president okay in case of vacating the post of the uh, governor who will come Chief Justice of the Concerned High Court will come to 
we fill the post of the governor in case of the vacant of the post of the governor until the new governor holds takes the responsibility of office okay mind this thing now see powers of the governor if we compare the powers of governor and president then we will see that the president has diplomatic power military power and emergency power like the president okay but governor has no diplomatic power no military power and no emergency power okay president only can give a letter to the president oh sorry governor can only give a letter to the president directing that sorry not directing or requesting then that there is a utmost grave law and concern situation in the state so president rule should be imposed here okay it is only a request like president he cannot uh, impose president rule on the state he can only request only to president through a letter that's why mind that governor has no diplomatic power no military power and no emergency power who is the president have okay then another thing is then most of the executive power with uh, of uh, governor is same like the president uh, like the president okay and among them also i told you that president appoints the uh, uh, attorney general and attorney general actually holds office during the pleasure of the president in that way governor appoints the advocate general for a step and advocate general generally holds office during the pleasure of the governor okay then again mind thing who is of the following is not appointed by the governor state election commissioner okay state election commissioner state public uh, chairman of state public service commission okay members of state members of state public service commission okay all these are appointed by the governor state election commission um, uh, state election commission okay uh, chairman of state uh, state public service commission members of state public service commission all these are appointed by the governor okay but but they cannot be removed by the governor in case of president you see president can appoint a central election commissioner and other election commissioners president can appoint keg president can appoint um, chairman of upsc members of upsc and they it can be removed by the president okay they can be removed by the president okay but in case of state though governor appoints the state election commissioner or chairman of state public service commission but they cannot be ever removed by the governor they can be removed by the president only okay they can be removed by the president only and generally uh, uh mostly uh they are actually state election commissioner um state uh, chairman of state of uh, up uh, PC, uh, public service commissioner generally removed on the ground um, on the same ground on who is uh, uh on the same ground on who is the judge of a high court is actually uh, removed from his office okay the same ground in case of upsc what we can see though president can remove the upsc but generally he can be removed only on the same ground on the uh, on the same ground on which a judge of a uh, judge of his supreme court can be removed from his office okay mind this thing what are the differences or um, what are the similarities okay in case of president and governor president and governor both of uh, both actually appoints the constitutional head and members of the some constitutional post uh, of a center and state respectively but president can remove them them but governor cannot remove them okay because it is shows the dependency of state uh, it shows the uh, a strong a strong center in indian federal system okay the indian federal system is still to center and it shows the supremacy of center upon the stage okay mind this thing they uh, state but i am um, uh, state election commissioner uh, mem uh, uh, chairman and members of state uh, uh, public service commissioner appointed by the governor but they cannot be removed they can be removed by the president only on the grounds of a high court only on the grounds of the removal of a judge of a high court okay and another thing mind that you find an option governor appoints the election commission governor appoints the members of um, uh, a public service commission 
ओके व्हेदर द सेंटेंस आर राइट और रॉन्ग दिस सेंटेंसेस आर रॉन्ग बिकॉज गवर्नर कैन अपॉइंट नॉट इलेक्शन कमीशन गवर्नर अपॉइंट ओनली स्टेट इलेक्शन कमीशन ओके माइंड दिस थिंग व्हेनेवर यू फाइंड दैट गवर्नर अपॉइंट्स इलेक्शन कमीशन इलेक्शन कमीशन मींस व्हिच इलेक्शन कमीशन सेंट्रल इलेक्शन कमीशन या स्टेट इलेक्शन कमीशन दैट इज व्हाई माइंड इज वेट माइन्यूटली ओके गवर्नर अपॉइंट्स ओनली स्टेट इलेक्शन कमीशन नॉट सेंट्रल इलेक्शन कमीशन यू फू फाइंड द टर्म्स इलेक्शन कमीशन देन दिस इट इज रॉन्ग ओके then another thing is that i already told you that he can recommend the imposition of constitutional emergency in a state to the president okay uh, and during the president rule actually the executive power of the governor is extended okay because he finds very much wide power to rule the state generally uh, uh, to um, to in uh, on behalf of the president okay president um, delhi um, it's actually hand over sometimes hand over uh, the executive power of the state to the uh, uh, to the governor okay and another thing is that uh, you might find an option Pre uh, which of the following is not an executive power of the governor okay president appoints a state uh, uh, state election commission okay president appoints chancellor of university state universities okay mind that president does not appoint chancellor of state university oh sorry uh, um what uh, probably i have uh, <coughs> mentioned options wrong no, option 1 governor appoints the state election commission okay governor appoints the chancellors of state universities mind that governor does not appoint chancellor of state universities because governor himself is the chancellor of state university okay governor appoints only the vice chancellors of state universities okay mind this thing don't be puzzled chancellor and vice chancellor okay don't be puzzled um, governor himself is the uh, governor himself is the uh, uh, chancellor of universities okay then come to legislative power i already told you vacant and absent there is a, a difference between vacant and absent in case of parliament in case of lok sabha we have seen that whenever the uh whenever the uh, uh we see oh, in case of lok sabha what is the speaker and deputy speaker okay when a speaker is absent okay then uh when a speaker is absent uh, then uh, deputy uh, deputy uh, deputy speaker come okay and uh, when speaker and deputy speaker the both the post are actually vacant when deputy speaker and deputy speaker both the post are vacant then only that member can preside over the house who is will be appointed by the president okay but when the is post of the speaker and deputy speaker is not vacant it can be said that both uh, no uh, there is no uh, speaker and that the deputy speaker also is absent mind that term absent when there is absent then there is a panel of there is a panel of speakers okay any member of the panel of uh, panel of uh, speaker will come to preside uh, preside over the office okay mind the differences okay absent and vacant i repeated in my last lecture also in lok sabha when the uh, when a chair of speaker and deputy speaker both are vacant then the person appointed by the president can preside over the house okay but when the post of speaker and deputy speaker both are absent okay both are absent then any member of the panel of chair person actually preside over the lok sabha and in case of state only in case of state also what happen in state legislative assembly uh, in state legislative assembly speaker and deputy speaker okay when both the post are vacant then the person appointed by the governor preside over the preside over the house okay it is executive duty of the governor executive power of the governor governor appoints a person to be presided over the house when the seat of the when a post of the speaker and deputy speaker in the house both are vacant but in case of absence okay both both speaker and deputy speaker of the legislative assembly is are absent then president don't appoint any person in such case the any member of the panel of chairperson uh, will come to preside over the house okay mind this thing then another thing is that uh, there are two options okay governor 
गवर्नर नमिनेट वन सिक्स अब द मेम्बार्स अब द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव काउन्सिल फ्रम एम द पार्सनस डट 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 ओके यूल सी योर सेल्फ आर माइ एम फिस इज ऑन अनदार वर्ल्ड ही कैन नमिनेट वन मेम्बर टू द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बलि फ्रम द एंग्लो इंडियन कम्यूनिटी माइन द टर्म नमिनेट ओके इट इज नट एपइंट गवर्नर एपइंट इफ यू आर टोल्ड इन एन अपन देर गवर्नर एपइंट वन सिक्स अब द मेम्बार्स अब द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव काउन्सिल फ्रम एम द पार्सन डट 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 देन सेंटेन्स इज रंग गवर्नर डज नट एपइंट एनी मेम्बार टू द स्टेट एक्जिक्यूटिव टू द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव काउन्सिल ओके गवर्नर नट एपइंट इट इज नमिनेट ओके इन डेज से गवर्नर नमिनेट वन मेम्बार टू द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बलि ओके इन बोथ द केसेस इट इज नमिनेट ओके गवर्नर नमिनेट वन पार्सन फ्रम एंग्लो इंडियन कम्यूनिटी टू स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बलि एंड गवर्नर नमिनेट वन सिक्स मेम्बार्स अब द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव काउन्सिल फ्रम डट 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 यू रिड यर सेल्फ बट एगेन वन थिंग वन सिक्स मेम्बार नट टू द लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बलि इट इज लेजिस्लेटिव काउन्सिल माइन द वर्ड भेरि हेन एवर यू फाइन एनी सेंटेन्स अपशन इन एग्जाम हल यू शुड भी भेरि केयरफुल यू शुड रिड द होल सेंटेन्स भेरि केयरफुल वन सिक्स ह्वाट इज द की टर्म वन सिक्स मेम्बार डेस नमिनेट डेस स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव काउन्सिल नट एसेम्बलि ओके वन मेम्बार फ्रम एंग्लो इंडियन कम्यूनिटी डेस नमिनेट डेस स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बलि नट काउन्सिल ओके माइन दिस थिंग ओके and in the uh, in case of state legislative bill also what happen governor can give assent to bill governor can show his disagreement governor can withdraw his uh, assent to bill okay governor can uh, return a bill okay return an ordinary bill okay he cannot return money bill okay and in case of if he returns a bill for a state legislative uh, state legislature okay and if the bill is passed again for the second time in state legislature with or without uh, amendment then the thing is that governor must have to give his assent to the bill okay mind that in case of president what happen if president give, can give his assent to the bill president can withdraw his assent withdraw his assent to the bill president cannot return a bill in case of money bill okay but president can return a bill again to the parliament but if parliament again passes the bill with or without amendment and give up, uh, again places it before the president for uh, china then president must have to give his assent to the bill during this time in case of the governor also same governor can give his assent to the bill governor can cannot withhold his assent to the bill and governor can return the bill to the state legislature if it is not a money bill mind there in case of ordinary bill only okay and if the state legislature again passes the bill with or without amendment okay mind the term with or without amendment okay but you might find the sentences in the exam hall that governor can uh, गवर्नर कैन गवर्नर कैन गवर्नर हेज टू सैन ए विल पास पास बै द स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव एसेम्बलि फर द सेकेंड टाइम इफ इट इज ऑनलि उथ एमेंडमेंट माइंड एस नट उदाउट एमेंडमेंट इन केस अफ प्रेसिडेंट अल्सो सेम उथ और उदाउट एमेंडमेंट इफ पार्लियामेंट पास इज द बिल उथ और उदाउट एमेंडमेंट इट इज द ड्यूटी अफ द गवर्नर फर द इन द सेकेंड टर्म टू गिव हिज एसेंट ओके हुए द बिल हेज बीन एमेंडेड और नट according to the governor okay it is no matter it is the duty of the president the governor he they must have to sign the bill for the second time okay if they are passed by the parliament and state legislature respectively but in case of governor there is an exception that the governor can reserve the bill for the consideration of the president okay first the state legislature assembly uh, uh, places the bill before the governor okay governor can return the bill if governor return the bill in second time he must have to sign the bill okay if it, it is placed before him but if he does not return the bill there is an another option he can reserve the bill for the consideration of the president and if governor reserve the bill for the consideration of the president his duty and exe his executive power and duty regarding the state legislature bill and becomes ended at this moment after that it will go to president and later it will be dependent on the president and the whole bill will be centered around president now after this moment there is no power and of uh, executive power of the governor regarding the um, bill okay if the governor preserves a bill for a president um, preserves a state bill for a president except money bill then the governor loses his power executive power on the bill thereafter okay 
mind this thing and there are some provisions actually okay there are some terms on which the president uh, governor has to preserve the bill for the president okay if it is ultra virus it is written in Lakshmi Khan book okay yeah, ultra virus okay opposed to directive principles of state policy okay against the larger interest of the country of grave national and importance okay dealing with the compulsory acquisition of property under article 31 of the constitution you might find the question in example who is of the following is not a ground on which governor has to preserve a bill for the president just try to remember the points okay grave national importance okay against the directive principles okay against the larger interest of the country okay then in exam hall you might find an another option that there is no ground written in the constitution on which the president has to uh, on which a president has to uh, on who is a president uh, on who is a president has to res, uh, preserve the bill reserve the bill for the governor it is wrong because there are some grounds on who is pre, uh, governor has to uh, uh, there are some grounds on who is regarding uh, the uh, regarding who is the governor has to in uh, pre reserve a bill for the consideration of the president okay mind this thing there are some grounds there are some grounds the on which the governor has to preserve reserve the bill for the consideration of the president okay you might find an option to puzzle you because there are no some there are no grounds in constitution on which president on sorry governor has to reserve the bill for the state bill for the consideration no there are some grounds okay then he can promulgate ordinance it is the like president okay president also promulgate ordinance when the uh, uh, session is no when there is no parliamentary session okay in that way governor has to promulgate governor can also promulgate ordinance when there is no session in state legislation okay then mind this another thing that in case of while reading ordinance power we have read that uh, any of the uh, house of the parliament is not in session because law is generally made by the consideration of agreement of the both the houses okay that is why except money bill in case of ordinary bill uh, sorry here does not come uh -huh. except money bill in case of ordinary bill bo um, the law is made by the agreement of the both the houses okay that is any of the house okay any of the house is any absent uh, is absent okay that is why and then um, uh, ordinance can be so in that way in case of state if uh, there is a state legislative legislative assembly and a state legislative council then any of the house if any of the house is not in session then the governor can issue uh, ordinance okay then it is then ordinary ordinance making power of the governor like president is also not a discretionary power president issue ordinance on advice of the council of minister headed by the prime minister governor is to ordinance in that way on the advice of the council of minister headed by the chief minister okay mind this thing like in which a president can uh, withdraw ordinance anytime in that way governor can also withdraw ordinance anytime okay then another important thing is that what is the time frame in case of president i also see that uh, it is the uh, for six week and here also the six week time frame within this six week um, uh, after six week within the reassembly of the within within reassembly the state assembly has to pa uh, pass these uh, uh, ordinances okay these ordinances must ordinance must be approved in both state legislature and in uh, center within six weeks time frame for the approval of ordinances in both the center and both the state is six weeks not six months okay mind this thing okay then another thing is that who is of the following reports is not presented to the leg state legislature by the governor state finance commission state public service commission controller controller and auditor general relating to the account of the state all these are uh, <coughs> all these reports are uh, um, generally presented by the governor to the state legislature in case of, case of president also what happened we see that report of the central finance commission okay report of the central election commission report of the U union public service commission are presented by the president to the uh, parliament okay here in case of also the governor presents the report of state finance commission okay state public service commission and controller and auditor general of the relating to the account of the state here again the puzzling term is that you find an option in exam hall that governor lays the report of the finance commission public service commission to the state legislature okay not uh, it is wrong because not 
finance commission simply not public service commission simply there must be the term state okay state finance commission and state public service commission another puzzling um, option c governor leads down the report of the comptroller and auditor general to legislature no comptroller and auditor general keg means there are ke, ke, center or state uh, sorry who is report keg actually uh, um, there are some there are different reports related to state related to center not the whole report the report a uh, whole report is presented by the president to the parliament but governor can generally present those report which is related to it state that's why the correct option is governor presents the report of the comptroller and auditor general relating to the accounts of the state okay mind this thing and in case of financial power governor we all know that annual financial statement is um, he sees that budget is presented no money bill can be presented without the prior permission of the governor no it is no money bill can be presented in parliament uh, without the prior permission of the president no demand for grant can be made without the recommendation of the governor in state no demand for grant can be made in the parliament